I had been traveling up along the west coast of Mexico and had spent a couple of days in the town of Boca de Tomatlan. But today I would go out for an adventure to the town of Mismaloya. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm still here in uh, a town called Boca de Tomatlan. <laughs> um, up in the mountains somewhere in a hotel with a really incredible view. I have been traveling up um, along all of the southern and southwest and west coast of Mexico. So I'm on my way up now to uh, another town right here uh, along the coastline. So we're gonna check that out today. Playa Mismaloya and the town is also called Mismaloya. So we're gonna head over there now, just gonna get ready and then head out. I had almost made it up to the Baja California Sur Peninsula in Mexico and my plan was to take the boat over there. But first I would explore this area of Puerto Vallarta. I paid 45 US dollars per night here, 900 pesos. I think the hotel was built many years ago, but it has a really cool feel to it. I really like it. And um, also right outside the window, you have uh, such an incredible view and also all these green areas here. Let's go. So now we're gonna walk four kilometers, about two and a half miles through this jungle looking road here. There's not much light coming through, but it's a pretty cool walk. And sometimes it opens up so you can see the ocean from the road here. So I've been walking for a bit. We're gonna stop and buy some uh, water so we can uh, survive this hike. So we're gonna buy some water at OXO, it's the most convenient, the most uh, common convenient store here in Mexico as you might already know. I had a bit of a slow start actually to this morning and the adventure I had to get two hot dogs from OXO here so we get some energy and also some milk and then we're gonna be um, continuing the walk over to the town that you've all been waiting to see milk is actually so good for you to drink it's so much good stuff in milk really really good but it comes from cows, like cow's milk. It's kind of mean to take their milk. What if there was another species like on this planet that took uh, women and uh, put them in stalls and then took their milk? <laughs> I got my two sausages and my milk, so now I have lots of energy to continue this walk to the destination. It's a bit dangerous to walk on this road, actually. It's so narrow and then... Uh, there's no space in between to walk and the cars are just coming vroom, vroom. Oh, 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 here comes another one. Here comes another one. Car. All oh, the sun is coming. After the 40 minute walk, I was getting closer in to the town of Miss Maloya. Hello everybody, now I think I am here. I think the town is uh, behind the gas station in the valley before the mountain. So let's go check it out. The sun is shining and according to my map, there is a walkway that goes down here and into the beach. So I'm walking through here now. There's like, seems like to be only one or two roads that go into the town.
I had walked across the mountains and in to this town that only has a population of 740 people. So I'm here in the town and it's also like my other video, the other town I was in. We have a river that flows from the mountains and goes out into the ocean. Really cool. And here is also the pond where the river water sort of gathers together. So you can jump in and enjoy and cool off. So I walked across the bridge, my friends, and we are here in Mismaloya. Really nice. Let's check it out and see what it looks like from a bit further out. I had walked through the mountains that are part of the Sierra Madre del Sur mountain range and had come into this small town located in a valley right next to the rainforest. The steep mountains lead the water down to the valley where it eventually flows out into the ocean. There are a lot of buildings up in the mountains, but also many empty areas with just forest. Usually I would go snorkeling here, but the further up along the west coast up in Mexico I've been getting, the less clean the water has actually been. And uh, I haven't been, been able to see anything when I've been snorkeling lately. As opposed to when I was in the state of Oaxaca, further down in the west side of Mexico. I think that was the best place I visited. So there are a lot of restaurants here um, where you can order some really, really good food along the beach and there's also, this is the only resort that's here, Barcelo. Walking here now and uh, the cold river water actually flows out into the ocean and uh, the people are trying to get the boats from uh, the, that side over there. We have the river but um, it's not until the afternoon that the tide goes higher here so this whole area in the afternoon will be full of water but if you want to get out <laughs> with the boat um, before the afternoon then um, you can see the people uh, that are just pushing it over there outside the town there is also an area called Los Arcos that consists of two rock formations with two small arches I've been frying myself here uh, by the palm tree with a great, great frying angle. The sun is coming from right up there. So hot, it's sizzling like always. Before we head back, we're gonna jump in and cool off here in the river. Must be like 65 degrees in the water, less than 20 <laughs> Celsius. <sighs> so I walked a bit uh, from the beach back here and this seems to be the town here. <laughs> Bananas are growing here. There's a restaurant. Yeah. 
Here are some of the houses in Miss Maloya. <laughs> it was a really peaceful town with lots of horses, clean rivers, flowers and green areas. But the adventure had almost come to an end and I was about to head back across the mountains again. My friends, we're going back actually. We need to go home and edit some videos. We are back on the dangerous road, my friends. We are back. Oh! 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 I came back to the hotel, my friends. The video has actually come to an end. Now I need to edit some videos uh, because I have a lot to do. As always, if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up, post a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also did actually some laundry this morning in the sink <laughs> because my shirt is a bit dirty. But uh, thanks again uh, for watching and uh, see you next time. I could not stop filming. I could not stop filming. Oh. Oh, we have to keep filming, we have to keep filming every day, every day. Look, there's so many waves here. They're so, like, huge when they come uh, slamming into the rocks here. One hour later. I had to walk on this really dark road here for like one kilometer. There's like nothing here. I need to get something to eat. Sometimes there are some uh, cars that drive by, but... Uh, I need to find, uh, I think there's a gas station. <laughs> you cannot see anything here, but I have my flashlight. So I can buy some food, it's the only place where you can buy food here. It got dark and I went to the store, it's actually a little bit scary here. Like, I think there's no, almost nobody staying in this hotel. I think I'm like, I was the only person. Look. We have to work hard on our videos. I've been slacking a bit actually, but we have the Coca Cola. Shh, shh. Oh, cheers, everybody. I couldn't stop filming. I was trying to end the video earlier, but I could not stop. So good. Oh. Well, I think now this will be the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. It was a scary walk over to the convenience store actually. So dark and... Boom.